After eating meat soaked in chemical agents, these unfortunate villagers turned into terrifying mutants. However, even though they lost their sanity, these mutants never forgot the melody of singing and dancing. This is the latest disaster comedy film from Thailand in 2024, Isarn Zombie. In its first week of release, the film achieved a box office of 87 million and scored 8-3 on local Thai websites. What kind of mutants love to swing and sway like this? The story begins with a supermarket clerk who has been interning for two and a half years. Tun Nun is a clerk at the Good and More supermarket, and her daily job is to organize products and take expired goods off the shelves. But no one noticed that behind her kind demeanor, Tun Nun was secretly stealing discarded meat from the supermarket. And Tun Nun wasn't stealing meat to sell but to help some poor people suffering from a strange disease. Tun Nun's father, Kun Tang, is an abbot at a temple, where he is taken in some villagers afflicted with a ghost disease. The so-called ghost disease is a strange illness where the afflicted fear sunlight, crave raw meat, and have unpredictable tempers. Tun Nun's mother also unfortunately contracted this disease, with no cure available. These villagers could only wait for death. Kind-hearted Kun Ting set up a small room in the temple to house the villagers suffering from this strange disease. Tun Nun, with her good heart, used her position to bring back expired raw meat from the supermarket. Everything seemed normal until one day when an accident happened. The former manager of the supermarket was fired for embezzlement. A new supervisor named ITT arrived at the store. Upon taking office, ITT discovered that the employees were stealing goods. To rectify this misconduct, ITT established many rules, including immediate dismissal if anyone was caught stealing. ITT also brought in the police to scare everyone. Under ITT's iron-fisted governance, the employees' thefts were effectively curbed. However, expired meat continued to go missing from the supermarket. To prevent the meat thief from profiting, ITT came up with a plan. He sprayed chemical agents on all the expired meat products so that anyone who consumed them would be poisoned. But ITT's solution is an easy one for Tun Nun. She brought the meat back to the temple and repeatedly washed it with water and detergent. Although some chemicals remained, the washed meat was still edible. That afternoon, Tun Nun brought the cleaned meat into the room as usual. The villagers suffering from the strange disease rushed in and quickly grabbed all the raw meat. Just as Tun Nun locked the door and was about to leave, she saw ITT watching her. Seeing that the matter has been exposed Tun Nun did not argue and admitted his behavior. At first, ITT thought Tun Nun was using the meat for profit or as pet food, but when he learned that people were eating it, ITT's expression froze. It turned out he had added a new, highly toxic agent to today's meat. Before ITT and Tun Nun could react, the villagers who had eaten the meat suddenly became agitated. Hearing the commotion, Tun Nun hurriedly opened the wooden door, and a homeless man rushed out. Screaming, ITT and Tun Nun turned around to see chaos inside the small house. The frenzied villagers poured out and tackled a man who was clearing leaves, turning him into their prey within moments. Kun Tang, who was passing by, tried to help, but the man suddenly went berserk. Fortunately, ITT and Tun Nun were nearby and saved Kun Tang. ITT picked up a broom from the ground and separated the man from Kun Tang. At that moment, Tun Nun remembered her mother inside the house. She rushed back in to find her mother sitting motionless, thinking her mother hadn't eaten the meat. Tun Nun approached her, but her mother suddenly lunged at her. Luckily, ITT was nearby and quickly pulled the out-of-control woman away. Kun Tang also stepped in to help. He restrained the crazed woman and told ITT and Tun Nun to get out. As Kun Ting pushed his wife away and tried to leave, she suddenly bit him. To prevent his wife from escaping, Kun Ting quickly locked the wooden door. Listening to the screams inside, Tun Nun was devastated. But before she could cry, the mutated man hobbled toward them. Just as ITT was about to grab a tool, music suddenly blared from a nearby loudspeaker. <laughs> The music seemed to attract the man, who ran toward the sound. It turned out there was a music festival happening in the square next to the temple. Tun Nun and ITT hurried toward the square. The infected, hearing the music, also headed in that direction, turning several unlucky passers-by into their food. Tun Nun and ITT hurried to the square, trying to get the staff to evacuate the audience. But the staff didn't believe a word they said. At that moment, Several infected individuals burst into the room, just as the infected were about to bite the staff. 
the loudspeaker blared again. Seeing the infected singing and dancing, the staff thought it was part of the show, but halfway through the music, it suddenly stopped. It turned out that the lead singer, Kumpfen, thought the band's rhythm was off and asked everyone to start over, even demonstrating it himself. The intermittent music caused chaos backstage, forcing the staff to dance while trying to avoid the infected. Just as Kumpfen was happily playing, I suddenly called a halt, throwing the backstage into disarray as the infected pounced on the staff. Tun Nun and ITT rushed to the front stage, urging everyone to evacuate immediately, but the audience, waiting for the show to go on, didn't react. Just then, the infected burst out from the backstage. Seeing the audience being bitten, I realized something was wrong and frantically climbed into a small truck with Kumpfen, but the infected quickly surrounded the truck. Just as I thought he was done for, the infected were drawn away by screams nearby, and by narrowly escaped death. At the entrance of the square, I encountered the fleeing Tun Nun and ITT, and they all climbed into the small truck to escape. But as soon as they started, they heard another vehicle behind them. When Tun Nun turned around, she was shocked. A dozen swaying infected were driving after them, and the infected driver even knew how to overtake. In the narrow road chase, one of the infected jumped onto their truck. Seeing a battery nearby, ITT grabbed the wires and tied up the infected that had jumped on, but the battery's voltage was too low to do any good. Just then, Bai's phone rang, and three infected started dancing to the ringtone. Kumpfen kicked the infected off the truck. Hello? But the pursuing vehicle was still on their tail. Tun Nun remembered Bai's phone and quickly played the ringtone again. She then threw the phone into the infected's vehicle. Hearing the music, the infected started swaying and accidentally flipped their car. But Tun Nun forgot to set the song to loop. And when the music ended, the infected began to agitate again. Meanwhile, Bai, Tun Nun, and the others arrived at a supermarket in town. Just as they were about to call the police, they heard the infected's howls from across the street. The group quickly hid in the supermarket and closed the shutters. ITT told everyone to find tools. The shutters wouldn't hold for long. But while everyone was busy, the supermarket security guard was watching short videos and didn't notice the surveillance at the door. Once he saw that it was time for him to go off duty, he opened the back door and waited for the staff to go off duty. Little did he know, there was an infected person right at the door. Seeing the terrifying infected man, the security guard screamed which attracted the infected at the front door. The infected swarmed in through the back door into the supermarket. Everyone panicked at the sight of the infected, but a homeless man grabbed a bottle of canola oil, doused himself with it, and walked towards the infected. Because of the oil, the infected couldn't grab hold of the homeless man. Seeing that this trick worked, the rest of the group quickly followed suit. Meanwhile, ITT, Tun Nun, and the others were cornered by the infected. In the chaos, Tun Nun and Kumpfen got separated from the group. They hid in a storage room, hoping to wait for rescue. But then Tun Nun turned and saw scratch marks on Kumpfen's arm. Without thinking, Tun Nun dashed away. ITT and a customer, Sam, escaped to the security office. ITT wanted to use Sam's phone to play music and distract the infected. But Sam's phone was dead, and they had to hide in the monitoring room to charge it. On the monitors, ITT saw the survivors divided into different groups hiding in various places. The infected were continuously closing in on them. Bai and Samjai hid in the warehouse, where they encountered the mutated Kumpfen. Just as Bai was about to greet him, Kumpfen charged at them. But instead of attacking them, Kumpfen helps them to hold back the infected. Bai quickly led Samjai to the storage room at the back. But the old wooden door couldn't hold against the numerous infected. And soon they broke into the warehouse, discovering everyone hiding in the corners. Just when they thought it was all over, Sam's phone in the monitoring room finally turned on. <laughs> she
She played a song, and the infected instantly lost their aggression, but halfway through the song, Sam received a call from her mother, nervously, Sam accidentally answered the call, without the music, the infected were restless again, and those who were about to run away were blocked by the infected, at this critical moment, the PA system suddenly played a store clerk singing, At the same time, the police, who had received the alarm, arrived at the supermarket. While the clerk sang, the medical staff managed to subdue all the infected. ITT found Tun Nun in a corner. Just as he was about to help her leave, he realized that Tun Nun had been scratched. In the end, the infected residents were sent to a sanatorium. With the doctor's help, Tun Nun and the others received treatment. But the story of the infection was far from over. This is the complete plot of the latest 2024 Thai disaster comedy film, Isarn Zombie. Overall, the film has a good pace, with lots of hilarious scenes worth watching. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. Follow me for more exciting content you won't want to miss.